much fun. Wait, Daddy has to come around so he can see it. I think the wind's quitting and the sun's out. It's gonna be nice. We got a lot of snow. It's really soft though, so Mom, it doesn't. Can you help me? Yeah, I'm coming. Feet out so I break a leg. I just do it on your bottom. Oh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have a hill, right? This is way more fun. I don't know how much it snowed, it drifted so bad it's hard to tell, but there were drifts taller than the bucket of the tractor. Like this one here in front of the loader is probably up to my hip. So, yeah. Lots of fun, hump up. Howdy folks, welcome back. Winter is upon us and it's wearing me down. We've had ice, a, a nice slippery layer of ice for over a month. And we got a blizzard three, four days ago. Not a lot of snow, but lots of blowing and drifting. And they're breaking these plows faster than I can put them back together. I did a brake line on an old ancient Cat 12F motor grader the other day. That was, that was not fun. I'm pretty sure that Cat bends and flares a brake line and then they assemble an entire motor grader around it. It took me three hours to replace a brake line that's about as long as I am tall. So anyway, this is a plow truck. It's an international. It's rusted out. It's in pretty sad shape. I think it's a 2003, but she ain't long for this world. Anyway, it's got some oil leaks. Shocker, I know, but I guess these are a little worse than normal. They want me to investigate that. And then he said that it doesn't have any heat. You put two and a half gallons of antifreeze in it and still has no heat. I don't know what's going to happen with that. He said it doesn't, the engine doesn't overheat. You just get nothing out of the dash. The blower motor runs, but no, no heat. So we'll try to investigate that. I don't know if it's got a coolant leak somewhere. He said it's not leaking in the shop, but it's obviously going somewhere. So who knows how far we'll get with that. Anyway, we got to fix the oil leak and I don't know, look it over. I noticed some other minor to major problems. So who knows what we'll get into. The major oil leak's gonna be the hydraulic hoses that run out to this wing plow. Now inside here, there's four hydraulic hoses that run through kind of a bulkhead connector plate there. And one of them's leaking pretty good. He thinks it's just rotted out, you know, rusted off. Well, I suppose some of you have never seen a snow plow or don't know that much about them. The purpose of this wing is to push the snow further back into the ditch. And they do that for two reasons. If the snow is drifting, which it is now, that the wind's pushing the snow around, shoving it back further into the ditch, it makes it less likely for the snow to drift over top of the road. And then they're also pushing it back so that they have a place to put the snow the next time that it snows. And normally in January, we get what's called a January thaw where it, it melts all the snow that's on the ground and you're just left with the big piles. But this year, we're not gonna get it there's still snow on the ground from December, so they're kind of running out of places to put it, so the wing is really important. All right, here's the back side of those connections. And they are looking pretty crusty. Let's see. That one's pretty good. Oh, well, yeah, there's a problem. That one's good. All right, this one's got a, she's got an issue. Yeah, that's not good. I wonder if that nut will come off there. And it's loose. There we go. Alright, so it's just a normal JIC fitting, but it rusted itself in half. The other ones seem to be okay so far. So we either need to make a new hose or crimp a new end on that hose. So we gotta figure out where it goes. But it should be a relatively easy fix. Oh. Famous last words. Looks like all the hoses run up to the backside of this big box. That must be where all the valve blocks are. 
I'm pretty sure they're all electric solenoid valves. So there's no there's no levers or anything to pull in this truck. What? Okay, there it is. Looks like it's in good shape other than this fitting being rusted out. So I'm gonna haul this into town and see if they can just crimp a new end on it. And if they can, I think it'll work fine. There's plenty of slack. If they can't, then we'll just make a new hose. Well, success. It's a different size hex, but still the same dash six JIC fitting. Should do the trick. Did I forget my wrench? Yes, I did. I'll be back. Oh good, it's plenty long. Cool. Well, if you're gonna do any hydraulic work, which I strongly suggest you just don't do, but if you are gonna do it, these angle wrenches are fantastic. These are made by Proto. I think most of the big tool companies make them, but they are a lifesaver for getting into these goofy fittings when they're all stacked together like this. Okay, well, she's got plenty of other leaks, you know, everywhere. But I think that was the main gusher they were worried about, so. Let's uh, turn our attention to something else. How about this air dryer? Yeah, we probably need to fix that. Unbelievable. So here's the air dryer right here. You know why it's loose? That bolt's broken off. And then these two right here, completely missing. So I don't know how that happened, but I'd say it's been that way for a long time. It looks like these are pretty loose too. I know that one's loose for sure. So we're gonna attempt to install some new bolts, but it seems like the, the holes don't line up. So I don't know if they crashed the thing into something or what the deal is, but a 5 8 bolt won't go through there. So I gotta think about that for a little bit. I don't know, I don't know offhand what to do about it. Ah! Jammers. Try the 24 inch, see if we can break that. What a stupid, stupid design. This, in case you can't figure out what's going on, this bolt's broken off too. All three bolts that hold this wing frame to the truck are broken. Whole thing's, I don't know what's holding on there, honestly. See, that's loose. Okay, well, we'll probably have to torch that one off. I think we got it now. Okay. And there we go.
That's a start, but I think I think the whole thing has to go like this. So we may have to chain it up and pull it. Stand by. Yeehaw. Had to do a little bit of dentistry on that last one. Must have kicked up a burr or something when the bolt broke. There we go, we got six bolts again. I tightened the two that weren't broken. We installed four new ones. Looks good. And it's hard to see on the camera, but the plate that supports the plow, it goes up behind this blue bracket. So there's actually six bolts in this main thing. So it still had two of them left, but two out of six is not very good odds. All right guys, we'll have to cut the video short. They're really hot for this truck. They wanted it back yesterday. I just couldn't get it done. Uh, the coolant situation, I'm not sure. It's leaking, definitely leaking from a couple places. There's a puddle there on the floor. I'd say the lower radiator hose is leaking a bit. And I don't know, it's hard to tell. The radiator might be leaking, but they said they just added coolant. So who knows how much of that is what they spilled and how much of it's what's leaked out. It's kind of a weird setup. It's got two tanks. There's a like a surge tank here and then an overflow tank on the opposite side. 
So yeah, I don't know. I have seen before where this little hose between the, the radiator and the surge tank or the overflow tank will get a leak in it. And then as the coolant heats up, it drips out that hose and it never shows up as a coolant leak when you pressure test it because you pressure test it here at the cap. So something to keep in mind. Anyway, we're about to cut it here and uh, supposedly they're going to bring it back. So I might make a follow up video when they do that. Well, change of plans. Apparently they don't need this truck until tomorrow morning. So we're going to do some testing here. See what we can figure out. I don't know. I looked around for a shutoff. A lot of times on these trucks they have shutoff valves for the heat, but surely they would know that. Anywho, let's see how, how much coolant comes pouring out of this thing. I'll bet it'll be a lot. Oh, I hear it. Well, looks like the radiator. See, she's all wet down there at the bottom. So, yeah, that's not good. It's pouring out of there. So we can't leave it like that. It's got to be fixed. So I'm trying to show you guys how, how rotted this radiator is, but yeah, there's no fins left. No cooling fins. I can just strum the tubes like a guitar strings. Hey, what day is it today? My birthday. It's your birthday. How old are you? Five. Try again. Um, ten. Try again. Uh, two. <laughs> uh, one. Uh, four. There you go. Ha! I can open a present! No, we can open presents later. Uh, I need the air compressor stuff so I can... Fill your tires? Fill my tires. We had a dramatic change in temperature, you know, from like... 29 degrees to 8 degrees, so of course my tires are low. You gotta give it to him, a metric. Do you know that was a metric? <laughs> zero degrees to... Zero mm. degrees Celsius to negative... About minus 15, I'd say. I got a converter. <laughs> Alright, kiddo, what are you drawing? I'm gonna draw a crystal. A crystal? Alright, folks, there you go. Fixing a hydraulic leak on an international 7400 dump truck. Easy, I guess. I don't know. I gotta stop working on these plow trucks though. It's This thing is just a rolling liability. You know, you bring it in for a hydraulic leak and pretty soon we're putting a radiator in it and four out of six bolts that hold the plow frame on are broken. It's just, where do you stop? And, you know, we talked about the safety inspections in the Q&A video. This truck has a valid Illinois State Safety Inspection sticker. Legal to drive for another four months. And, uh, yeah, I don't even know if they looked at it. Doesn't matter. I ordered a radiator. We're gonna install that next week sometime. They wanna take the truck. They gotta wing back the roads and then we're supposed to get another snowstorm tomorrow. So they're just gonna, yeah, fill her up, keep, keep it topped off and uh, we'll deal with it when we can. They wanna go aftermarket on the radiator, which that's no surprise. It's half the price of an OEM radiator, so. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've had mixed results, mostly negative, with aftermarket radiators and heater cores, but yeah, you got to do what the customer wants. Anyway, I've got birthday cake to eat and a little boy who wants to open some presents, so I better get out of here. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. There will be another video when we do the radiator, I'm sure. See how that goes. Yeah, thanks for watching.